This is just a small part of the world's largest refugee camp. Dadaab is home to more than 400,000 refugees. About 85% of them have fled a decades-old civil conflict, drought and famine in neighboring Somalia. But along with signs of growing stability, Kenya and the Mogadishu government have set up a joint task force to push for the return of thousands of refugees by the end of this year. With serious sensitization and uh, continued pacification of uh, uh, those areas in Somalia, this is viable. And I believe they should also be proud of going back to their country. Going home is something many of the refugees say they do if the conditions were right. If our country, Somalia, is completely peaceful, we are ready to go back. There wasn't enough peace in Somalia, but when we came here, we experienced a lot of problems. At night, we're afraid of bandits who rape women here, and we can't even go out to collect firewood. If the UN provides us with the fare, we're ready to go back to Somalia. For others, home right now is out of the question. Dahira Jele, a mother of five, arrived just a month ago. Here, at least, her children have access to food and an education. We fled Somalia because of war and drought. There's nothing to go back there for now. It's a no-go zone. Many agree that repatriation is the ultimate solution to ease the burden of such a huge number of refugees in Kenya. But with continued reports of attacks by militant Islamist group Al-Shabaab in parts of Somalia, the timing of the discussions is being questioned. If you look at the recent reports coming out of Somalia, as late as last week, we've had bus drivers being attacked by persons perceived to be Al-Shabaab. And we've had ref refugees who attempted to go back and somehow also got into that kind of attack. So the first step we are thinking about, if these people go back, is it safe enough for them to actually re-establish their lives afresh? On the ground, the UN Refugee Agency has no voluntary repatriation cases underway and remains skeptical about kick-starting the process now. Well, UNHCR is in dialogue with the Kenyan government about uh, the return process, uh, the return of Somali refugees from Kenya. Um, and this is a, a long process and uh, UNHCR doesn't think that for the time being, the conditions are, are there for, for a large-scale return. Even as the Kenyan and Somali governments are stepping up efforts to encourage the repatriation of refugees like those here at IFO 2, there's a constant influx of new arrivals in Dadaab, often in desperate circumstances, a sign of the ongoing instability in the region. While some areas in Somalia have been pacified by Amazon forces, the pervasive peace, access to education and health care that refugees here are so desperate for remain out of reach. And as long as that's the case, for some, staying here might be their best option. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Dadaab, Kenya.